I think we just have to realize that Jewish intellect and history has been hijacked. It has. Because people didn't understand handlers. Right. That's correct. Right? So you yeah, had you Pharaoh, had great you had great Pharaoh minds that were tied. Right. Yeah. You had mm -hmm. great minds that were tapped, but we had handlers. It was the handlers that went wrong. But here's how I look at it. What Just happened in 2020 was one of the greatest gifts mankind has ever been given. Interesting. Because we don't learn unless there's trauma. We don't take our shoes off to get on an airplane just because somebody decided us. Because somebody got on an airplane with something in their shoes that could take us down. We only learn by trauma. Right. Now what's happened in 2020, we now know more about elections, more about laws, more about the rat bastards and how they do it, how they're enriching themselves and our eyes are open. And so True. this is like God passing judgment. Are you worthy of that free will? And that's where we are right now. And then on the Jewish thing about using it for good, yes, we have to use it for good, and we have to refuse the handlers. Yeah, because you know in the in Exodus, they're called the heir of Rav, the good teachers of bad information who lead us astray right. and use us as their fulcrum, their leverage to enrich themselves. And you know how they get rich? By killing the rest of us and stealing our money. That's right. It's right. such a scam. And nothing's changed until time right. I see, I think God's testing us. Here's what I think. I, I do think too. you know, in, in ancient times God talked through the prophets or whatever the case may be, and they went out to a few. I think if I was to look at this from a godly standpoint, this may be the first time in history that God's talking to every one of us. God's given us sight to every one of us. But what's coming into play is our free will. Right. Are we going to exercise our free will? Because, see, I believe evil and, and darkness, of angels and demons, whatever you want to call it, right. has always had an agreement. Evil must tell you what they're going to do. Yeah, they must. And then you we be, and we or be, else you won't be afraid. That's right. And they feed on fear. There you go. And silent is consent. Yes. And so since I truly know wow. that, the, the veil is thinner than it's ever been oh, it right yes, now. Absolutely. We can see through and see this spiritual absolutely. war. And so what's finally coming down is we now understand this unseen of angels and demons and light and darkness and that the darkness must tell you. That's why they tell you, we're going to rape your kids and turn your boys into girls or your girls into boys. They tell us. Mm -hmm. We now know it is our own silence that brought us here. That's right. Wow. This is not a bad cabal that took us over. This is a bad cabal we freaking gave permission to yes, we did by our, our inactivity. Wow. Silence is death. That's Amen. right. So why 2020 was the gift we all got and God's going okay. And here's what I say. Look, Jake, have you ever run a foot race? When I was younger, I can't okay. do it now. Did you win or did you lose? Uh, half and half. Half and half. Have you ever run like a 5K? No. Have you ever run a marathon? No. Have you ever run against maybe 10,000 people? No. 100,000 people? No. Well, the reality is you have and we don't look at it right. You probably, unless mom says otherwise, you ran a race with a billion potential use right. when it hit her egg. Right. Now, I just want you to think about that for a minute. You were chosen mm -hmm. in God's terms to be the winner. Out of all the different versions you could have been or all the different times in history or in your life you could have been here or in ancient life for you to come here, he chose to put you here now. Mm -hmm. That to me tells me you were chosen here to fight this fight. I agree. Period. It is up to us to understand if we believe we're not given more than we can handle. We were all chosen here. We're doing this. You're, you're in the iteration of what you are mm -hmm. because you were hand chosen to fight this fight and to be a voice. And that's the deal. People have to realize we are what they're afraid of. Why do they suppress our speech? Why mm -hmm. do they cancel us? Why did you get uh, booted on YouTube and, and defunded? Because they can't have people's eyes open. Right. And so when you understand everybody watching, it's you that has the power. It's you that has them afraid. Mm -hmm. And they use cons to suppress us. And we willingly let them suppress us because you think you can't do anything about it. It's your one voice. When you get brave enough to speak the truth and you get past the crap, we were all talk, taught, don't talk about politics and religion, which right. is damn things we should have been talking about, Absolutely. right? Yeah, it's the only thing that matters. When you realize it is you they are fighting. Yeah. President Trump said, they're not after me, they're after you. When you understand... What's called the one voice. Let me give you an example. You might one day to decide to turn on, like you did, you're going to turn on the cameras, you're going to turn on your phone. But let's just say, let's say you're a grandmother, right? Mm -hmm. You turn on a phone and you just decide this isn't right and here's how it was when I was a kid. 
Well, you never know what God has might have that one gamer for one weird reason. Here's your broadcast, and it finally goes click. And yeah. that's the kid that has 2 million followers that believe this shit. Right. And all of a sudden, you make them rethink. And through your movement, just because you made a choice, you got to the person that actually changed our destiny. And that's what every of this is about. And that's why you that have to speak up and speak That happens to me out. every single day. You better believe I it. I get the phone calls every day. So I think, it, be louder with your I did it quick. I'm time. sorry. <laughs> but, I can edit um, it out. And so I'll put it out again since you said it, because I felt like you said it because God put it in you to say so I could hear it. There you go. But it was, uh, you know, because I really think that it is up to the grandmothers. They got a lot of free time and they got a lot of money. You better believe it. And uh, it's time for us to get together and be the, you know, the judges of what they've done to our country and demand that uh, that they allow us to... Uh, use our constitutional rights and follow the Constitution, which was created by some very intelligent men that knew how to run a government. Which was divine. Yes, which was divinely inspired. Mm. And also from the Iroquois Nation is where Benjamin Franklin got his idea of representative government. Which was divine. Yes, which Mm. was divine. By grandmothers. It was a grandmother's council. I always say women are going to win this for us or lose it for us. We need to win it and return to the grandmother's council that regulates, you know, our own families, our own lives, where our food comes from. Uh, every law, um, because that's how the United States was meant to be, that that's it right. came from the people. That's mm-hmm. right. It didn't come from the oligarchs and the Hollywood stars to tell the people, well, you aren't going to be on the cool side if you don't do this. Right. And to brainwash all the young people to pretend they're cool too. Well, they're not cool. They're just stupid looking ghouls. They're lost. And the grandmothers need to start smacking their ass in line, and they can. It's like that one bit, one lady that sees her son at a BLM march, oh, I sees love her. Her. and she proceeds to beat his ass all the way yeah. home. <laughs> it's the best. You better I believe think it. She's the greatest patriot of That's this it. age. She's right there. Amen. Right. Hey y'all, you need to follow my new page here at youtube.com forward slash at Roseanne Bar Clips.